Right, we're here with Lauren Hall. She just announced she's retiring from racing after an eight-year career, finishing her last season with the United Healthcare Pro Cycling Team. Good morning, Lauren. Good morning. It's <laughs> great to be here. I'm home, and it's so good to be home. Ah, your own bed. Yeah, I slept like a champ last night. As a matter of fact, I was like, oh, I better set an alarm <laughs> for this call. <laughs> no, That's fantastic. Kidding. So I'm going to dive right in here. Um, talk to me about how you got started racing bicycles and what was your first bicycle race? Uh, I have to credit my brother, uh, Ben, because I was just exercising. I was running. I had a yellow lab, so and I was going to culinary school. So I was running in the morning with my dog to stay me to stay active and to, to give him something to do. Um, and then my brother said, Hey, let's run a marathon. I was like, oh, okay, sure. <laughs> so, uh, we ran the music city marathon in Nashville, Tennessee in 2006. And, uh, after that I decided that I was going to do a triathlon. So it took me, uh, probably a year to get the courage to go into a bike shop because I'd gone into one bike shop and it was like the stacks, the bikes were, you know, two tier high. And uh, I walked in and was just like, oh, I don't even know what I'm looking at. You know, I was like, they're pretty colors or, you know, and then you, you just start kind of looking at the price tags. And I was like, I'm out of here. <laughs> so I, uh, I did a hot lap through this bike shop. I didn't even, I don't, nobody even had time to ask me, can I help you? And uh, so uh, about a year later, yeah, I got the courage again and a little bit more knowledge to go back into a smaller bike shop and the guys uh basically said hey we do rides tuesday thursday saturday you don't know how to change a tire you, you know i don't know where i'm going i didn't you know just learning the bicycle i didn't really know what was going on so it was really good to do the group rides and that got me into racing and i never did the triathlon <laughs> <laughs> Just went straight to bike racing, huh? I did, yeah. yeah. That's great. So if you look back at the last eight years, what would you say is your favorite moment in cycling? Oh, I had that question over the weekend as well. Um, there's not really any one moment. Um, you know, you can pick the race wins or um, some of the track events that I've done. I, I actually raced cyclocross uh, for two seasons. But I think more so it's the friendships uh, and this family environment that I um, was able to get from cycling. Um, I played soccer in college and I thought I was going to be a professional soccer player. And I have a group of friends that I still keep in touch with from 2001. It's not, not that long ago, but you know, these are my soccer girl friends and we went through so many hard practices together and now we're best friends. And to then come into cycling, I think that's really what I, got from soccer days is you know it's going to be the friendships and these relationships with uh, some of these women and and you know management and staff that you'll take forever uh, is more important to me I understand that we do have a, a wonderful cycling community it's nice to be a part of it yeah. so if you had a, a young girl come up to you and ask for advice to start racing what advice would you give her I would say go to your local bike shop, um, you know, start the rides there, uh, start local racing. Uh, we, I started in the Louisiana and Mississippi Racing Association. We'd go to races and the women's field would be maybe 20 riders show up and we would think that was a big field. And But that's such an important uh, growing and stepping stone into the professional ranks because you start to uh, meet individuals and kind of learn the ins and outs of racing. Uh, and then I would also say grab grab five people that you trust in your life and listen to them because everybody wants to give you advice, especially now with social media, on how to train and how to race and what to do and how to do it. Uh, and it can be extremely overwhelming. So have your village uh, and stick with that that's what i'd say that's great advice to get your core group of people that you can always lean back on mm -hmm. so i'm sure you got this question before as well looking back you've done eight years of racing and you're just retired what are your plans for the future i don't know what uh what job openings do you guys have <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know. Um, 
and again, going back to Colorado Classic Weekend and the announcement coming out, a lot of people, a lot of my friends, and you know, going back to the advice, a lot of people wanted to give me advice on what to do. Um, and the the constant that I kept hearing from Mara Abbott, Michael Creed, uh, Janelle Holcomb was, don't rush into anything just yet. Like. Just, just kind of let all this settle. I've got another four months of United Healthcare sponsorship, um, and yeah, kind of just floating through. Like if there's anything that comes up, or you know, I, I talked to uh, a couple of different people at USA Cycling. I've talked to Chris Aaronholt with, and just said, hey, if y'all need anything ever, I'm here uh, for whatever you need, VIP events or uh, help, assistance. So yeah, I'm I'm just floating right now. I don't know. I'm still training. Fondo season's coming up. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be nice to uh, to ride the Fondo as opposed to have to race the entire time, huh? Uh, there's still guys that want to race the Fondos, so I got to be fit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so... We, we like to finish our interviews with a round, a speed round of questions. And since we noticed you went to culinary school, we're going to focus on five questions about food today. All right, here we go. All right, number one, sweet or savory? Ah, sweet. What is your favorite meal to cook? Anything. I love food. <laughs> There's not one particular dish that you, is your go-to that you just have to cook? No. No, there's not. I'll be honest. All right. So what's your favorite pre-race meal? Uh, rice and eggs. Yeah. Together? Yes. Okay. What is the worst food you've tasted while traveling to race? Oh, uh, I don't know. I'm pretty easygoing and I don't have a delicate palate, so just <laughs> I eat just about anything, to be honest. All right. So the flip side of that, what's the best thing you've ever eaten while out on the road? Uh, probably the food in Italy. Gotcha. Just all of it. Yeah. The Well, I mean, the pizzas are phenomenal and the pasta is cooked to perfection. It's pretty amazing. Excellent. Yeah. Well, thank you for joining us today. Best of luck with your next chapter and... Good luck with the next couple of months with United Healthcare and enjoy Fondo season. I will. Thank you very much. Thank you.